The next set of interviews in our sequence is approval interviews. And how technical interviews and qualifying interviews sometimes can be you know, lumped together, usually approval interviews come after that. They've come after that whole sequence where they've now willowed the field down even further, and now they're at a smaller group of people, maybe only two or three. And the idea is having somebody kind of do the approval phase as they go through all these different interviews. Sometimes it's the hiring manager, if they may come back and interview a couple of candidates, but it's typically the hiring manager's boss, the person above that person, uh, where the hiring manager says, hey, I've got these two or three candidates. Could you interview them and give me your feedback, your approval on that? And that's who you would be interviewing with that, kind of that boss's boss. And the goal on approval interviews is confirmation. They're just confirming that, yes, we're looking at these candidates. These are good candidates. And maybe this is our A number one candidate. Hopefully that's you. And they're confirming that choice and looking at those top two or three candidates. And sometimes what comes up in those approval interviews is anything uh, that might have occurred through the interview process that you keep getting asked over and over again, that's maybe something their company is having an underlying concern with or the other interviewers having concern with. Let's say you were laid off in your last job, for example, that happens to many people, and uh, it keeps coming up in each other's interviews. In an approval interview, they might have that boss's boss who might be a more skilled interviewer, not necessarily, but typically is more skilled interviewer, who can probe deeper and really try to find out, well, what happened there? And that's a good thing because you don't want anything that will hold you back. You want to be able to answer that and really show that and really shine with that. Uh, and be honest with that, with that approver who can then come back and say, yeah, I interviewed this person, boy, they're terrific. And you know that concern we had with them being laid off or they didn't answer this interview question in good depth. I got it out of them and I feel real good and we should go ahead with that. And that's the idea of these approval interviews as they can lead to the next steps, which could be you know a little bit more interviews or maybe even right directly to a job offer. So understand that uh, approval interviews is approving you part of the process and also be ready that sometimes the approver might have different perspectives and maybe ask you different questions because they might be looking at the broader organization. They they might also be looking at the future of the organization. They might even be looking at you as the future of the organization as you get promoted up the ranks. So that might be something where it might be a little bit different, but anything you're being asked of consistently through the interview process, whether it's values really the company or technical aspects of the job, or if there's issues that they're concerned about, be ready for an approval interview because those are the last things to overcome. And if you can overcome those objections, if you can overcome those issues, good chance you're going to get a job offer.